Welcome to Baseball News Club. Today is Monday, September 21st at 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going over the wild card. And when you look at the top five, the top five stayed the same. Twins, Yankees, Indians, Blue Jays, and Astros as last week. So they just kind of shifted around like Blue Jays were second, Yankees were down the lineup. Now they're second. So the teams that were on the bubble were Mariners, Angels, Orioles, and Tigers. And this is just one week left. So these guys are most likely done unless they go on a run. And you know what's odd is Houston's been giving it to them. Houston's been playing 500 ball. They haven't been really doing much. And they're just kind of giving away that fifth spot. But the Mariners, Angels, and Orioles just haven't been taking it. But the only way it's going to happen, I mean, mathematically, they're still in it. But they're going to have to pretty much win out. And Houston's going to have to just lose out and start, you know, maybe only win one game this week and totally choke. So there's still a chance by the Mariners, Angels, and Orioles but it's and Tigers. But... I don't think it's going to happen. I think most likely this is the five teams we're going to be looking at for wild card: the Twins, Yankees, Indians, Blue Jays, and Astros. So sorry, fans that didn't want to see the Astros show up to the playoffs. I didn't want to see them show up either, considering that they're cheaters. But they're still a solid club, and they made it in the top five. This is most likely what we're going to be looking at for the wild card spots right here. Twins, Yankees, Indians, Blue Jays, and Astros. Again, Mariners, Angels, Blue uh Mariners, Angels, Orioles, and Tigers, they're going to need some uh, some things to happen. And Houston or Toronto is just going to have to tank it, plain and simple. Now let's move over to the National League wildcard race. And this is a true wild race. There are so many teams still in. When you look at the top five, Padres obviously have it. Marlins are most likely going. Cardinals, Phillies, Reds. Uh, Brewers, Giants, Mets, and Rockies. Now, what's unfortunate is the teams that are on the outside are really making a move. The Rockies have tanked it. They've won three out of their last ten. Mets and Giants have five out of their last ten. And the Brewers are the only ones that are kind of trying. They've won four in a row, six out of their last ten. But, I mean, this time next week, this could be a totally different playoff picture. I mean, look at St. Louis. They've had a lot of games to make up this week. They could totally tank it and be out of it. Uh, Philadelphia, who were hot, only won four out of their last ten. So, they're starting to, you know... Got a question mark on them, but I mean, the Reds, the Brewers, Giants, Mets, and Rockies. Now, the Rockies, I kind of think they're conceding. Um, You know, they're going to have to pretty much have a solid week, probably go win all the games, maybe only lose one game and hope the teams in front of them tank. But I'm seriously, by this time next week, we can have a totally different format. We could have Mets and Giants and Reds and Phillies out. I mean, we can even have Cardinals out. I mean, there's, it's so crazy. It's unbelievable. Um, so we'll have to see. This is the last week of baseball. I mean, all these teams right here are still in it. And every day is going to matter. Every game from here on out for the next plus week matters. So we'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching Baseball News Club. Have a great day.